Eight games in for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and another win for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and Manchester United. Tonight, the Emirates, Arsenal, the FA Cup. So much history between these two clubs in this competition. And tonight, Manchester United delivered again under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Man United 3-1 winners at the Emirates. And you can't say it wasn't deserved in any way, shape or form over those 90 minutes in a game where David De Gea was rested. Marcus Rashford was rested. Anthony Martial was rested. Two, certainly, our best players that have been under Solskjaer in Marcus Rashford and David De Gea. And Martial as well has been important to our shape going forward. But we played with Alexis Sanchez back at the Emirates. We played with Romelu Lukaku. So much has been said about him. But we won 3-1. Manchester United tonight, we showed that under Solskjaer, it doesn't matter what 11 plays, we're still going to play the same way under Solskjaer. And it really was a wonderful performance. You look at that first 15 minutes against Arsenal. We weren't really threatening them too much, if I'm perfectly honest. But we weren't threatened in defence at all. And this is up against a team which has got a very threatening attack. Aubameyang, Lacazette. They've got great players in attack. But Man United in defence were very, very strong. Short and Lindelof resolute in that first 15 minutes. And then we got that goal that made all the difference. And what a pass that was from Romelu Lukaku. A player who has been so maligned because of what Mourinho effectively turned him into. Lukaku at Everton, we remember him at Everton. He was a wonderful player. That's why we were so excited by what we signed. But what Mourinho turned him into was a target man and nothing more. But Solskjaer tonight showed that Lukaku does have more to his game when he let him do it. He played out on the right, a position he did use quite a lot for Belgium, and he was fantastic. That pass, that disguised shot to pass for Sanchez, and that finish from Sanchez was a wonderful, wonderful goal. And Sanchez, back at the Emirates for the first time, so many questions were asked tonight about Sanchez and Lukaku. Taking Rashford and Martial out of the team was a very bold decision by Solskjaer. But Sir Alex was a man, a manager, sorry, that was renowned for rotating his squad, keeping all of his attackers happy and all of his attackers firing. And tonight, we saw our two best attackers left on the bench and two attackers coming in and Lukaku getting two assists and Sanchez getting the first and all-important goal. That is what you want from a squad. That squad strength. And that goal from Sanchez was wonderful. Rounded the keeper, excellent finish. And that would have meant a lot to Sanchez, a hell of a lot to Sanchez, who the crowd booed him all night. But Sanchez won tonight, Arsenal. Sorry, the Emirates might have wanted him to fail, but he certainly didn't. And Manchester United made it 2-0 with a wonderful counter-attacking goal. Lukaku again the provider, this time Lingard the finisher, having enough time in the box to take a touch and finish with a plumb into the bottom right-hand corner. Man United, you know, it's hard not to get too excited now about what we're seeing because it's not a fucking flash in the pan. It's not Cardiff, it's not Huddersfield, it's not Bournemouth, it's not Newcastle. We've done it against Spurs in the Premier League and we've gone to Arsenal in the FA Cup and we've dropped De Gea, we've dropped Rashford and we've won 3-1. And again, that was largely in due to Solskjaer. And you look at the second half of that game, Arsenal came into it in the, in the end of that first half. And the goal that they scored exposed the weaknesses that we do still have under Solskjaer. You know, Solskjaer has transformed our attack immediately. Rashford seems more confident. Lingard, man of the match tonight. <sighs> Rashford, no. Lingard, he was fantastic. Got a goal tonight as well. Sanchez looks fantastic. We saw it tonight there. Lukaku, everybody just looks like under Solskjaer has got a new breath of life. Our defence, a little bit different. You know, Ramsey there, squaring the ball, Aubameyang knocking it in. That was some poor defending. And that continued at the start of that second half. And it looked like Arsenal were going to get an equaliser. They didn't get that equaliser. And at that point, you felt United have got enough to get back into this game and start taking control again. And then Solskjaer did something that we all know that Jose Mourinho would not have done. In that second half, in the 70th minute, he brought on Rashford and he brought on Martial. Two attacking subs happened at 2-1 up. That would never have happened under Mourinho, a manager who would have tried to shut the game out and keep it 2-1. Solskjaer 
try to bring attackers on and expand the game and get that third goal that kills the match. And the only reason that Martial was in the position he was when Popper had a shot and Czech fumbled it into the box was because he had just been brought on. Fresh legs, sharp. He was there in position, ready to pounce and score that third goal. Now that's great management, that's great substitution and a great finish from Martial, who's now among the goals under Solskjaer. And that's what I've been waiting for, because if Martial can get firing, as well as Rashford, Lingard, Lukaku and Sanchez, that's goals galore, that's goals everywhere for Manchester United. But you've got to be so, so happy tonight at what we've seen, because there was real question marks over what Solskjaer would do in the FA Cup, I suppose, because it was, you know, considered a, a less important competition. Would he rest players? Yes, he will rest players. He'll rest, he'll rest his most informed striker. He'll rest the best player in his team in David De Gea. He'll rest Anthony Martial as well. But the players who came in weren't slumping their shoulders. They weren't dragging themselves around the pitch. Romelu Lukaku reformed on the right-hand side. Not simply a target man, somebody who linked up with a team play well and looked like Iniesta when he was passing through to Sanchez. Looked like, in, looked like Xavi when he passed it across to Lingard. And Sanchez, he scored the all-important first goal that made the difference, that gave United the grasp and the grip of that game. That was what you want to see. That was, tonight was a squad performance. It wasn't the starting eleven. If we were playing Arsenal in the Premier League, I don't think we would have played that eleven by any shape or form. But we did, and we played it in the FA Cup. And the players responded to their opportunity. We needed something from Lukaku tonight to go, you know what? Lukaku, he can start in this team. And tonight, Lukaku did very, very well. You've got to praise him. Sanchez did very, very well. Lingard did extremely well, continuing his good performances under Solskjaer. And the whole team, yes, the defence is still weak. And yes, Arsenal still exposed the weaknesses in that defence. But that will not change until the summer, until we sign a new defender. But what Solskjaer has immediately done is re-establish the identity of Manchester United and re-establish the confidence of our attackers. And we are attacking with aplomb. And it's wonderful to see. We're now through to the next round of the FA Cup. Arsenal, see ya! Alexis Sanchez scoring the first goal. That must mean so much to him. But what, who's your man of the match? What's your overall feelings of the game? So now you've got to be buzzing. Rested our best players and we still pumped Arsenal. I love that. I'm sure you do. If you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe down below. As always, I'll see you next time. Take it easy.